guys, it's um, Friday. It's great. It's wonderful Friday. I made some homemade peppermint bark. It's freezing up in the freezer right now. It's going to be hard. They can cut and be crunchy and delicious. I can eat it. I made homemade peppermint bark. And it's only twiz the two days till Christmas. But tomorrow, it's Christmas Eve. You know what I mean? Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing. We're cooking some good dinner probably and just, you know, get some good dinner made. I um, got, got my brother and his girlfriend coming over to the house. Come on. And, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing for Christmas Eve. Christmas Day we'll talk about. But anyway, today I have your, we're talking about the preview. So the preview of the game. Vikings and Packers. This is a big one for our team, you know. Big one for the Vikings here. My, my, my Vikings better win this game because if we don't win this game, we're just playing for a pride at that point if we lose. Because all we got is the Bears next. After tomorrow, we got the Bears. And we gotta beat this mother. We gotta beat this damn team. Damn scrub ass of a team, you know? Well, we're 7 and 7, and they're, seven, they're 8 and 6. Okay, so if we beat them. We'll have the same record. Then all we gotta do is beat the Bears. I don't know what the pack. I don't know who the Packers got after tomorrow. But all I know is, we, if we win this game, we might have a chance to feel me. So we need this one. And so if we beat, if we beat them. We both have the same record. Eight and seven. Eight and seven. You know. So we need this one big time. If we don't beat this scrub ass of a Don't get me heated this morning. I don't want to be heated this morning. If we don't beat the scrub ass of a freaking team, if we don't do it, if we don't beat the scrub ass of a freaking team, we're done. We're done. There goes the season. If we don't beat the Packers, it's over. Finish. Finito. I think the, there's a couple of teams. I know I think it may watch it. The Packers and some other teams, they win, I think. I don't know if they lose or something like that. Then they get the Giants in the, in the playoffs, so. I don't know. This is. we got to win this game. we got to still be in the hunt here. Until we are. Till tomorrow. We're, till right now, we're technically still in the hunt. We need to pick up this win. We need to beat this fucking Packers of a team. Just go around. This garbage ass. I mean, they're not garbage. They didn't need some work, you feel me? So, if we don't beat this scrub ass, garbage ass of a team, so we gotta beat the Packers, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to get around Aaron Rodgers in the fucking offense, because did you see what they did to the Bears last second? The, the Bears put no no pressure up on the motherfuckers, you feel me? They didn't even come up in the damn, damn their game, excuse my language, they did not come up in the game. They, they, they literally left them wide open, straight. What the, de the the defense didn't do anything. Okay, so this, this is what the defense is. You know, you know, you know. The last play, the, the, the damn there, um, Chicago Bears are up three points. Okay, I'm like, cool. Gonna have it. Gonna finish it. Up there by three points. Three. Then there are three points, right? And then they blew at the last second. Let, 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 and Rodgers. Threw a wide open pass to one of his receivers. Like, this shit was clean. And one of the defense dudes didn't do nothing until like the last game when he caught the ball. Like, oh crap, what do we do? What do we do? And they chased him down, tackled him down, and then forced him to the damn dare field goal. Second time the Bears lose. The first time the Bears lost was to the Detroit Lions, right? And it was by three points. Second one was by the Packers, and it was by three points. They lost twice in a row by three measly fucking points. It was Garbage ass of a team. You 
feel me. So if we don't win this game, we're, we're done. We're toast. That goes their fucking season. And all we do is play for the baddest for our pride, basically. So if we, so we gotta win this game tomorrow, guys. We gotta stand behind that Vikings to become eight and seven, and make the Packers eight and seven. You know what I'm saying? So this is a big win for us. We need it. Our defense needs to step up because the way our defense played against was scrimmage of a team Colts there. You guys saw that, right? Damn this shit. Then the Colts are money have maybe have a chance. Money have a chance. The damn there Texans keep on winning the games. They might be out of the damn playoff spot, you feel me? So if they, if they get this here, they, they, they need this. They need this, period. End of story. They, you know? But the damn, the damn, the Colts freaking just blew us out. Punched their teeth in. Made us look damn, they're stupid. On the damn playing field, like our defense team. The defense woke up and said, hey, let's, 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 let's play a shitty ass game. Come in there, a shitty ass game, come in there, like, oh. This is it. They came in there. Let's play like we're not even going to make the playoffs. Just forget about it. Let's play that crap. And then and they fucking did that. They played damn their shitty ass football. That's what we did. We came in there. Had no mindset. Had no game plan. Had no nothing. That's what we did. We just came in there with no mindset. No nothing. Just came in there. Said, you guys play the way you play, you know. Enough turners out. I think it was a defensive coordinator. No turners out. There goes their team. There goes their season. And that was it. Our damn their team. Come on. Let's call it end season. There, there, there it goes. A lot of people are off today because kind of, kind of doing the last um, shopping. Not a lot of people are at work today. Because if we had the last minute shopping. But if I could tell you this, we gotta win this game. It's, 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 it's. I'll say if our offense could play good, or they played okay, you know, they just gave more to Rudolph and a little bit, a little bit to Diggs, and then, uh, and then they just gave the four bats, just cook us two field goals, to make it six to thirty-four. Got our shit pushed in, you know what I'm saying? So, if we, you know, we, we, just, we just gotta think. Our defense has to step up. We, we you know, we hi, we hired um, I hired us. So they they announced they announced what was it? Then their Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. It's one of the days they announced the Pro Bowl and Everson Griffin. I think Kyle Rudolph has been there, Everson Griffin and Cordell Patterson and, and Xavier Rhodes. And I think Kyle Rudolph might end up here, but those. Just those three guys in here that are entering the Pro Bowl. So, Everson Griffin, Cordell Patterson, Xavier Rhodes, and maybe Kyle Rudolph, but all I saw was those three, so maybe Kyle Rudolph as well. So, yeah, that's an Amazon car, and they're delivering some damn bags. So, but yeah, those, those are the only ones that we got selected this Pro Bowl. Playing Orlando. I don't know if they're sticking with this, this Hawaii shit, you feel me? It's been, where's it been? It's been Hawaii for uh, many of years. Then Arizona for a year. Then now Orlando. Should have had that. Houston was in the decision of the Super Bowl, you feel me? But Orlando. Oh, I don't even watch the Pro Bowl, honestly. I just, I just see these players get drafted, these players get drafted. Um, and that's it. I don't, you know, these players get drafted to the team. Alright. To the, um, these these players get drafted, you know, whatever they call it. What do they do? They do the draft, right? You know what it's called? Like, oh. You know what I mean? They do the draft like it's what Team Irving or Team whatever it was. Or Team Rice, Team Irving or something like that. So they pick. And they have like a Hall of Famer. Like, I don't know. It's, it's dumb. You know? I, I don't I don't watch it. It's, it's a bunch of garbage. You feel me? So. Because they don't, they don't play. Hi. A lot of people say hi to me. I know them all. Damn neighbors, but they don't play. You know when they tackle, they, they literally pick them up and do like a body slam. You feel me? Like a takedown kind of UFC kind of style move. You don't even like hug when they just hug when they tackle. They don't play physical. It's a bunch of garbage. You feel me? I don't, I don't even watch. I mean, you know, I'll see what the score was, but 
I don't really care about the damn purple. The damn purple is, is a scrub ass. It's like, you know, like a high school Pop Warner type shit, you know, gotta, gotta play safe. Not get these damn kids hurt, you know what I'm saying? And they do still play some good football, but yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter what all star game you watch, it's like an all star game basically. The NFL Pro Bowl is an all star game when you watch um, for basketball. You see the players, they, it's all dunks, all acrobatic, maybe some three point shots, no really physical blocking, there's barely any fouls, any, any, um, what do you call it? You know what I mean? Any fouls, any other, other type stuff, you know? Um, or, uh, what, what's that thing called? Like, you know, you get thrown out of the game. You, you never see any of that at the damn NBA games, or if you watch the NHL All-Star game, it's fucking high scoring. Hockey, you don't see that much high scoring unless it's against a shitty ass garbage ass team, you know? But, you know, like, they like, they score easily, easily in those games. Or if, like the the soccer MLS game they play against, it's like MLS plays against a professional like English Premier League team, or like um, or like you know one of those or like a, like Barcelona or something, you know. And it just it's, it's the cars they don't play. It's garbage. I hate watching all star games. I mean, there's like the NBA skill drills and all that, and the NHL skill drills. That's fun to watch. And NFL should do that skill drill action. I think it's fun. The all star game is boring. You know, all the celebrities come out to those NBA ones, NHL ones, or NFL ones. There's no action. There's no nothing. It's just garbage, trash ass, don't want to get hurt, pussy ass game, you know. But anyways, we, we have to win this game. This is a big game for us coming out of this, coming out of this game. Because if, if we beat them, we'll be tied 8-7, and 8-7. Seven, and seven. So unless the higher seed goes, I do not know how this is going to work. If we beat this game, beat the Bears, then our face will be revealed at this point, you know? Anyways, that's probably it. So come tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going to go to the gym early, feel me? Because I want to come home, enjoy the game. And then after the game, start cooking and doing some shit and get ready for the holidays. You know, feel me? Get, get in the holiday spirit. I think the mailman came already. Got to get all the mail, got to get everything out. I mean, I gotta get to check the mail and see if any packages came in. But, anyways, I think that's for watching this video. Let me let me know. If you got a Packers fan, you got a Vikings fan, let me know what you think. Who's gonna win? I'm, I'm going my Packers. I'm going my I'm Packers. I'm going my Vikings. True, true and through, you know. I just got my Vikings stocking a couple of weeks, a couple of days ago. Uh, I have a, I have a video on it. I unboxed it. Links will be in the description down below too as well. But I have it. You guys see. Um, we, we have to win this game, so, peace the fuck out, everybody, excuse my language, this is a big game for us to win, there's, there's nothing in this world, there's nothing in this world that will make my holidays better than a Viking victory, nothing in this world, I don't even care what I get for Christmas, you feel me? But this win. If we can, I'm telling you, if we can pull this off. If we can pull this off, I'll be happy. Because my brother's Eagles won last night, you guys. You guys saw the Eagles game, right? They won 24-19. If the Eagles can win, then my damn dear Vikings win. Then the Chargers, if the, okay, this is a funny joke. If the Chargers lose to the Browns tomorrow, they're going to be the laughing stock of the NFL because they're going to be leaving to go to L.A. And it's gonna be it's gonna be one garbage funny ass thing to watch. But we need this win. Thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Who you guys have? I'm still going by Vikings. This is gonna be a big one for us. We need this win. Anyway, thank you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Hanukkah. All that's tomorrow. Hanukkah. Christmas Eve. All that. So hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Stay safe out there. Stay toasty. Stay warm. Have some hot cocoa. And watch football. And relax. And on and on Sunday. Watch some NBA. That's what we're gonna do. Watch the Cavs and the Warriors. Duh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, tell your people about it. Happy holidays. Peace out, Skull Vikings. I'm out of here. Peace out, mother Apples. Skull Vikings.